What is up you guys, welcome to another vlog. As you can see behind me, we are at a hotel because we are in Jacksonville for a few days. Um, Wade is gonna be doing some filming and has some really cool business opportunities. So we are here in Jacksonville for a few days and we both have never really been here before so we're pretty excited. We just got to our hotel, it's like three almost, and we're gonna go get some lunch, go shopping, gonna go to dinner tonight. It's just gonna be a fun little like staycation because we're only a few hours away from home, but yeah, I'm super excited and I brought you guys with me, so let me show you around. mistake and I forgot to pack an extra battery but Wade and I went to Hawker's Asian Street Food yesterday after we came to the hotel and then we ate we walked around we went to I think it was St. John's like mall and it was like all an outdoor mall so we walked around for a long time did some shopping and then we came back home got ready for dinner went and had a really nice dinner together um Oh, I wish I could remember the restaurant if I can remember it I'll just put it up on the screen but we went out to eat I had like sh crab stuffed shrimp I think which was delicious and then we had probably the best lava cake with ice cream on top to share and I like I about died it was one of those things where like you took a bite and you're just like you needed a moment to process how good the food was that's where we ate and then we came home, I had to work a little bit, and then we honestly passed out because it was really a long day yesterday. And then today, Wade is up and gone. He's gonna go do his business stuff that we're here for. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop or Starbucks. I'm thinking just Starbucks because I don't like going on like fun coffee adventures without him because Wade makes like things fun. So I'm gonna probably go to Starbucks, bring my computer, get some coffee, a little bit of breakfast, and just work for a little bit. Um, to kill some time and they have a hotel gym here which isn't fabulous it's like dumbbells and stuff and if Wade's not home by this afternoon I'll probably go to the gym just to kill more time <laughs> and that's kind of like how the day's gonna go I don't really know what we have going on besides him being gone for most of the day and then me just working so I'll take you guys with me and that's it we're gonna carry on with day two of the vlog I wanted to show you guys my outfit let me back it up here so I have free people overalls with some Steve Madden sandals. And then this like tank I'm wearing underneath is like a double lined, it feels like an aligned fabric tank but it's super buttery soft and it's just like a crop tank with like a thicker strap on the side but this is also from free people. Cute. Dragon belly. I just wanted to show you because I think it's a cute outfit. Okay, now I'm gonna go. So Starbucks was actually super packed. So I didn't stay, but I brought my coffee to go. It's literally just a black cold brew. And then I brought some egg muffins and an old fashioned donut so I can eat some breakfast. I'm gonna get some work done now. And then hopefully go to the gym because I just feel like I cannot be in this hotel room all day. But I'm glad I got my coffee.
just finished working for a little bit. I did some programming for next week, so hopefully by the time we get back from traveling, I'm like ahead of the game with coaching so I won't feel so stressed. And now I'm gonna get my outfit ready to get ready for the gym. And my gym outfits are in here, so let's pick one out. to show you guys my little gym fit so I have this KK fit merch t-shirt and then I got these siren shorts from Buff Bunny that still fit and then I have this like Yoda color geo sports bra a little bit more coverage with my Sakai blazer collab shoes I forgot to pack actual gym shoes so I'm just wearing these and it's just a hotel gym but we're about to go down there get some movement going, endorphins flowing. And then I just realized, wait, and I didn't go to the store. So I'm probably gonna have to run and find somewhere to eat after I work out because there's nothing in this room. So looks like we're going on an adventure. Okay, we got a lot of cardio up over here. Oh, we got a ball, treadmills. The little pool is over there. Okay. What is that? Mats and kettlebells, and then we have a whole thing of dumbbells over here. You know, you can honestly get a lot done in this gym. You can do a lot, so let's train. finished the workout, went to pick up chicken salad chick because that was like the closest thing to me that I didn't have to go super far away. I don't know what it is. Like I'm from Texas and like we're aggressively good drivers in Texas in my opinion. So like freeways and stuff don't bother me when I'm familiar with the area, but I'm not familiar with the area here. And Wade and I have already discovered that our GPS is like the worst with telling us when to exit, what lane to be in. I don't know if like Jacksonville has just updated their freeways and it's not transferring to GPS yet, but there have been instances where it's like your exit is here, but there's like an exit or two before it that you have to take to get to your designated exit and there's no direction. So I didn't want to get lost and I also don't like driving other people's cars. We always take Wade's car everywhere, and I like driving my car, so I don't want to drive his car for very far away. But anyways, got chicken salad chick. I got a salad with a scoop of chicken salad on top. Got Wade some food for when he gets back. So I'm gonna eat, shower, probably work a little bit more and just like relax until Wade gets home, and then we're gonna decide dinner, which I hope we go somewhere fun. You guys, they have a lot of like, Places I've never heard of here, but they also have places that I have back home in Texas. Like, it, their main chain restaurants, so like Cheesecake Factory is here, and the Adam's Peanut Butter Cheesecake, you guys. I would do anything for that. And they have BJ's here, which is like a, basically like a pizza type of place, like a brew house or something, but they have a Pazuki, which is like just a really good skillet cookie with ice cream on top. 
Those are like my top two favorite desserts, you guys, and they're here. So I'm hoping I can convince him to go to one of those places cause just so I could get dessert. But anywho, time to eat. Baby girl is kicking away right now. Literally was kicking my stomach while I was at Chicken Salad Chick saying feed me. So we're gonna feed her and move on with our day. In case y'all are wondering, I did get my cheesecake tonight. Me and baby girl are very happy right now. And you're welcome for the for this delicious food. Don't drool too hard. Hello, you guys. We were on day three in Jacksonville. It's like, is it four? It's 5.30. It's 5.30 here. Wade was busy all day. I did the same things I did yesterday. I just stayed in the hotel room and I worked. And so that's all we did. But now we're going to a gym that we wanted to try. It's gym by... Jack. The gym jacks. The gym jacks. There wasn't a lot of gym options out here, so we're hoping this is a winner. Um, but that's where we're going, so I guess I'm going to take you guys to a new gym and through a workout again, and it's going to be great. So, uh, as always, I forgot to wrap up our Jacksonville trip. We got back last Friday. It is now the following week on like a Tuesday. And I'm hoping I can get this video up by Wednesday or Thursday. But I'm also behind on my bump dates. So I'm going to catch you guys up on weeks 24, 25, and 26 bump dates. So the last three weeks of bump date, I will also film this week and get it up for you guys. Um, so there's that clarification. But the Jacksonville trip was so great. It went so well. I know I didn't document a ton. I honestly spent most of my time at the hotel. The trip was mainly for Wade. Um, and I really wanted to take time at the end of this video just to kind of emphasize the importance of, you know, taking that leap of faith when you feel that tug or that conviction. You know, if people who've been on my YouTube channel for well, I guess from the beginning, know that my whole story leading into moving to Florida was purely out of a move of faith, and it was out of just this desire and this, like, voice telling me, like, you need to go and you need to move, and trusting that voice that was telling me to move. So I, I know what it's like to leave all of your comfort behind. I know what it's like to, you know, just leave your home and go somewhere new and how scary it is. But honestly, taking a leap of faith like that and just trusting in the Lord, like it's, you can't go wrong when you do that. And that's what this trip was really about. And it's more of Wade's, Wade's decision and story. So I don't want to like speak for him, but I will say that, you know, if you're in a season of your life where you don't know where you're going, you don't know what's going on, and you're feeling this weird pull from God telling you to like pack up and move or do something crazy out of your comfort zone and you're just hesitant to trust, uh, just just trust him. I mean, he's, he's a good God, he'll lead you down good paths, and he's gonna be there for you no matter what, and everything that he pushes you to do is for good things. So I just wanted to end this video with that because I feel like that's really important and this is 
it's kind of what the whole trip was about and that's just kind of the season that we're both in as individuals is just really being in tune with that voice and not letting our fears or doubts or anxieties get in the way but that's the end of this little vlog to Jacksonville slash a few days later back home but I will see you guys at the next video for bump dates for the last three weeks because we're already at 26 weeks and plus some days which is crazy and yeah, and there's also other big things coming, so keep an eye out, and I'll see you guys next time.